Hello everyone, Miss Hyde Gamer here, and welcome to Would You Rather. Now, um, I want to say very quickly that the webcam has not, ugh, sorry, I'm getting tongue-tied, has stopped working, and it will probably be a couple more videos before um, I get another one. I'll have to see if I can find one uh, at a decent price and get it working. These internal ones just don't last long anymore, so I'm sorry about that. Um, but I'm going to try to get some videos done anyway. I'm still trying to figure out what went wrong with The Sims and why the um, get to work. Uh, sorry, I'm all foggy in my head. I have a cold, so that's another reason why I didn't get a lot of videos up last week. I did record Sarah is Missing, but then when I went to edit it, I realized that my capture, my screen capture didn't get any of the game, it just got the desktop behind it, which really upset me, and I played the whole thing, it took an hour and 11 minutes, but you know what, there's nothing I can do about it. If you ever want me to replay that, I will, but it just won't be genuine reactions, so I probably won't, but regardless of what I meant about The Sims was... Um, I will try to get it fixed because the extra, the DLC, I guess is what it's called for Get to Work, removed itself. I don't know how it happened out from the rest of my Sims games, and so I'm trying to fix it, figure that out so I can continue that series, and hopefully that'll be soon. We can have some other games. And again, just a reminder, we will have, well, I will have, um, some other games up as soon as I get a better laptop and capture card or desktop depending on whatever one. But that's enough rambling, I'll already rambling for a minute or so. So here we are with, um, I didn't actually pick either one of these yet, but here we have, in any given situation, would you rather be the first to die or the last to die? Now you can't see it, but under here it says you have no control over the type of death. Now I don't know in this situation which I would prefer. Sorry about my sniffling, I'm feeling awful with a stupid cold. But personally, I think I would want to be the first, because I wouldn't want to see my family or any of my friends die in front of me. Um, but then again, it's the fact that, because someone in, in the comments below had said that if you're the last to die, you're saving your family from seeing you die. But it also doesn't say you're in front of your family, it's just saying, would you rather be the first to die or the last to die? So you, you could be in a group of people, not necessarily your family, and you could choose if you wanted to see them die and not give them the option to see you die, or if you wanted to die first or last. Personally, I would want to go first because I wouldn't want to, uh, I wouldn't want to make a decision, and, um, when I open the browser, it automatically check this one, so my option would of course be to be the first to die. Now let's go to the next, and this one should, okay yeah, alright here we go, be the best singer in the world but ugly, or be the worst singer in the world but beautiful. I don't really care regarding of beautiful or ugly, I don't really view it too much on that way, I mean everyone has different looks, um, everyone has a, everyone's different in their own way, so I would rather be a better singer than better looking, personally, so I'm gonna pick that one. And more people pick to be the worst singer but beautiful. Yeah, I guess that's all of which one you'd rather choose. Again, sorry about my sniffling, I'm trying not to. I right, always take cold showers or never feel anything cold. Oof, that's not good. I'm cold all the time anyway. And, uh, it sucks. <laughs> I freeze constantly, even when it's... We're in Florida, and our summers can get really hot, but regardless, I still freeze, no matter how the temperature is. It can be 90 degrees, and I'll feel like I'm in 20-degree weather. So always take cold showers, or never feel anything cold. Now, this right here is not good, either, because, for one... If you're really hot and you can never feel anything cold, then you're just going to be dying in that heat for, or feel like you're dying in the heat. So, as much as I love my hot showers, I would rather take cold showers and never feel anything cold. See, I'm not going to say they haven't really thought it through, but it seems like they haven't when they just, people automatically pick never feel anything cold because it's, it's one of the situations where if you're really hot and you need to cool down, 
Well, I guess your body could cool down on its own, you just wouldn't feel like you're cooling down. But personally, I it's the same if you have the question of, would you rather be hot or cold? I would rather be staying cold like I am. Otherwise, it's just going to be awful either way. Alright, here's another one. Would you rather walk across a mile of hot burning coals or walk across a mile of Legos? Oh gosh. And down here it says, no smooth Legos, only sharp, painful ones. Oh no. Has anyone ever, have, have any of you ever stepped on a Lego? I did when I was a kid, and I, oh, it hurt so bad. I was at school when it happened. But, um, walk across a mile of hot burning coals. No. I would rather go across the Legos, because at least I wouldn't have to deal with this. I mean, it'd be bad either way, it'd hurt. But I, I feel like this would be worse, so I'm going to pick the Legos. Mm -hmm. Oh gosh, 81% pick Legos. I don't blame them. Alright, let's go to the next one. Pet favoritism. I can see it loading up top. Alright. Would you rather... Oh no, what happened? No, I didn't mean to do that. No, I'm screwing everything up. Okay. There we go. Sorry about that. Would you rather have to kill three of your neighbor's pets or kill one of your own? Oh no, no, I couldn't kill my pets. I, I love all my pets and I couldn't kill my dog, so I'm gonna pick the neighbors, I'm sorry. Well, it might work out if you don't have neighbors with pets, then you kind of are at an impasse, but I would not wor I would not kill my own pet, I'm, I'm sorry. I wouldn't want to kill anybody's pet, but eh, it's just a matter of the question. Alright, would you rather save the world but nobody knows, or save the world but die as a hero in the process? Oh, in the other process. I would rather save the world and nobody knows, because then at least I could still be living in the world that I saved. And it's no, it doesn't really matter to me if I'm known for saving the world or not. It's, that's not something that's really important. It's, what's important is if you actually help people. Well, it, at least in my opinion. And uh, saving the world but die as a hero, it's... You can be heroes in many various ways, you don't have to do that for it. I mean, you have multiple heroes every day that are saving the world and saving your countries, and it's a really good thing. So, 59% versus 41, that was really close. Alright, would you rather only be able to teleport to places you've already been, or only be able to teleport to places you've never been before? Ooh, that's a good question. Now, if I were to pick only to be able only be able to teleport to places I've already been, I wouldn't be teleporting to a lot of places. I mean, I would be teleporting basically around Florida, and then um, I went to Alabama and Georgia. Well, I, we drove through Georgia to go to Alabama when I was a kid. But other than that, I wouldn't have a lot of places to go. So personally, I think I would be able, I would want to only be able to teleport. Blah, teleport to places I've never been before because then at least I can go there and see it and I could go around and then I could always catch a flight back or something but then I couldn't teleport um, back to where I've been but that's fine I could catch a plane even though I'm terrified of heights I would catch a plane to come back home 61% oh, they're getting a lot of 61% for some of these oh god Hear your parent. Okay, parents. Hear your parents. Would you rather hear them having sex or arguing? Arguing. I do not want to hear that. Oh, oh, 57. Why is that so close? Why is this so close? This should not be that close. Okay, let's just move on. That's just awkward. I'm not going to go into that one. Would you rather be the first killed in a group or be the last killed in the group? That's kind of the same thing as the first question. You have a, but now you're just in a group of what ones you people you would know basically um all right so let's see what this says down here if it would let me look at it all right let's just scroll real quick all right picking la last doesn't make you the hero who wins or the murderer himself you are the last victim okay yeah i figured that um all right, be the first in the group or the last group. Again, I think I'd want to be the first because regardless, you can't get out of this when it says you're going to be killed either way. So again, I think I'd just rather get it done and over with. I wouldn't want to see all my friends. <sighs> Stupid mouse. It's the only thing with a touchpad when your other mouse doesn't work. It just 
goes all over the place. Or does it work at all? Could you scroll up, please? Okay, we should stop doing that. 51% said they would be the last kill in the group. Oh, but it was also very close with 49%. Okay, let's go on. Do, 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 do. So how is everyone's days going if we're gonna take a quick... Bro, oh, no! Be stabbed in the stomach ten times or be shot in both kneecaps. Oh, no. Mm -mm. Oh, sorry, I'm taking a break every now and then. Take a drink. I... The throat gets very dry when I'm sick. Um, I, that's that's no win situation for either one. Either way, you get to live. Oh yeah, okay. Well, well I'll live with either being stabbed in the stomach ten times or be, be shot in both of my kneecaps. Oh, just grabbing my kneecap knees thinking about that. I don't know. I I I wouldn't want to be stabbed. I would not want to be stabbed. It would be hurt. It would hurt horribly. But I can't. I just. I mean. Hearing people in movies get stabbed, it makes me cringe, and I just couldn't do that. But I see a lot of the people, yeah, 879,374 people agree, and then this is the disagree. Okay. Oh yeah, gosh, I'll be glad when this cold is over, so I won't have to worry about this anymore. Well, not necessarily worry, but it's just an irritation at this point. Irritation? Aggravation? Wh whichever one. Alright, would you rather speak everything in surround sound or have your own entrance theme when you walk in the room? Entrance theme? That would be awesome. <laughs> Especially if you could uh, specifically pick and maybe, ma maybe make a mashup of your various songs that you like. Oh gosh, this is moving so slow right now. Okay, here's one. Would you rather be able to control or talk? Control, talk to machines, or be able to produce an unlimited amount of electricity. Now, this would be very interesting, and so would this one. But um, personally, I don't know. I'm kind of prone to both of them. If you could control and talk to machines, then any machine that you come across, you could you could make do something, or you could say something to it, and in result, if you're controlling it, you can make it respond to you. So yes, you could produce unlimited amount of electricity and you could power, you wouldn't need to really necessarily have anything out of your own bounds, basically, getting tongue-tied again. You could move into a house and you could power the electricity yourself without calling the company and all this other stuff. But personally, I think being able to control talk to machines would work better. That way I can control when my laptop takes a gigantic annoyance. <sighs> Gigantic crap to annoy me. Uh, this is going to take a lot of editing because I sound awful. I get so foggy in my head when I'm sick. Alright. Last dibs. Would you rather have the first dibs every time or have the last laugh? I'll take the first dibs every time. Um, don't really care about having the last laugh. I laugh at everything regardless, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> Would you rather die a hero or live long enough to see yourself become the villain? Um... This is definitely my question that I made up all on my own. It's not all in the... Okay, that's what someone... That's what the person that wrote the question um, had said. Now, this die a hero... I would say this is... How do I say this? This is what you, should, what you expect to happen. And I know I'm going to be looked at probably weird, but I would rather live long enough to see myself become the villain. Because with dying a hero, you are making the same choices that every other hero, if we're talking about like movie heroes, we'll use that as an example. Heroes in movies, or heroines, whichever one, they always see themselves become a hero, and they usually, yes, they can die or they have the happy ending. But ultimately, it doesn't matter because they're still following the same path, and yes, you could say every story is different, and everything, every path is different, but... Ultimately, each one is still a hero, and they've still made same the same choices. They've made difficult choices. They've made choices to protect the ones they love, keep someone alive, give their life for others. That's great. And I would want to be a hero, but for this question, it would be more interesting for me to live long enough to see myself become the villain, because then you could see... It would be a different side, especially if you're looking at it from a movie standpoint. You wouldn't expect the 
hero to become the villain ultimately in the end, and I think that would be very interesting to see. And I usually, that's what I do with my books sometimes. I, I, I write a lot of stories and I'm trying to get published too, so it's like, alright, would you rather be a Pokemon trainer or attend Hogwarts? Now, I know it's probably going to sound weird, but I've never seen Pokemon, and if I ever did, I don't remember it. Um, as a kid, I used to watch Digimon, but I don't really know anything about Pokemon other than Pikachu, and maybe a few that I've heard from other YouTubers talking about them. So personally, I think I'd rather attend Hogwarts, and if I had a choice, I would probably just be go there as a muggle, <laughs> ultimately, ultimately, because then you could still... you could still go high in the ranks and be Hermione Granger. Alright, here's here's one. We'll end it on this one. How's that? Star in a cartoon movie or star in a live action movie? I would rather star in a live action movie. Especially if it was something like, um, not necessarily, well, I'm trying to think of a good action movie that I like that would be good. Well, regardless, I can't think of a perfect, well, not perfect movie, but an actually action-packed movie right here. Oof. The only one I'm thinking of is Speed. <laughs> that would be cool. Um, but yeah. Uh, I'd rather be in a live action movie than cartoon media. I mean, I love cartoon movies, but then ultimately, ultimately it ended up being like, what, uh, Mary Poppins or uh, Pete's Magic Dragon or something. Uh, so live actions would just be, it seems more fun to me. If you enjoyed this video, just leave a comment. Um, leave a like, share, and uh, subscribe if you haven't. Um, if you have any questions, of course, like I said before, you can, uh, leave them in the comments. I will be making some vlogs soon when I get a better webcam, um, or camera in general. If you have any questions like these you would like to get in a video, um, you could always make them if you want to join on the site or leave them in the comments. Uh, if you make them on this site, you could always, uh, submit the question and then you could copy the link of that question and send it to my Twitter or Facebook, and then at least uh, I could put it in the video and I could say who your name was that did it if you'd like. Um, but regardless, uh, that'll be it for this episode, and I hope you enjoyed it. Bye!